<laughs> so I was in one of those fancy retail clothing stores the other day, checking out some of the fashions, and that whole Aztec thing, still pretty much alive and kicking. This iteration I found, however, kind of cool. An old t-shirt print covered in Aztec design. Looks super simple. Hell, I've got some old t-shirts. I could totally do that. Intermediate. So to get this look, we're gonna make some stencils. First thing I did was grab some stencil paper, which is pretty much just a piece of plastic. Not really paper at all, actually. Plastic report covers also work well for this. Next, I picked up a whiteout pen and a ruler for measuring. This one is kind of fancy, but a regular one will do. I started to grid my stencil paper and proceeded to measure and draw my designs. This will take a minute if you want really cool, accurate looking shapes, as Aztec designs usually are. So stick with it, give it some time, because it's totally going to be worth it. With an X-Acto blade, I carefully cut out my design and then proceeded to create row after row after row of some pretty basic shapes and patterns, followed by some more intricate designs. I then cut out each of them individually. And if you need some inspiration for these, just Google Aztec patterns. Super simple. Using the local paper and some masking tape, I fashioned the stencils onto these bigger sheets so that I wouldn't have to deal so much with the eventual overspray. Once finished, I headed outside with a couple of my old shirts. I laid one of them down flat and with some Elmer spray glue lightly coated the back of one of the stencils. This really helps create finer lines and better looking stencils. Once applied, I added some more newspaper for overspray, uber important, or else your shirt will totally look handmade. You know, you want that, but not so much. Then with some white spray paint, flat or glossy will work, I applied a couple coats. Removing the stencil is always the best part. And it looks awesome. Mix and match your Aztec stencils till you achieve the design you want. And just like that, you got yourself a sweet new Aztec print shirt. Side note, the white on the gray didn't come out as bright as I wanted it to, but I tried some black spray paint on this yellow shirt and totally got some awesome contrast. As you can see, absolutely no need to support the big box fashion conglomerates of the world. Just a little spray paint, an old t-shirt, some stencils, and a little DIY, and you got yourself the next best thing. Tired of spending your hard-earned money on overpriced fashion? Then join the Threadbanger army. Click on the big red button to subscribe, and be sure to check out some more of our videos right there. Till next time, see ya!